production we're in right now is like the biggest production of pure Indian classical dance ever to be seen in Toronto. And I can say that hands down. It's one of the rarer dance forms out of all. Everybody knows Bharatanatyam, everybody knows Kathak, you know, Kuchipudi, all these, all these dances are, dance styles are very popular. Odyssey is, is also popular. It's not that it's like, you know, unheard of, but I think people need to see more of it. It was a form of expression to the gods um, through dance and music and song. They not only used to dance, they used to sing and play instruments at the same time. It was like a one man show or one woman show. It was revised by all of our gurus in the last 50, 60 years and uh, brought onto the stage as a form of entertainment. But the expression, the, the, the spiritual expression is still, is still there. It tells the stories of all the gods and, the, and all the mythological stories and the, from the text in Sanskrit and in Oriya. If you look in the temples of, not just Orissa, in any of the temples, the stone carvings, you'll see these beautiful, figurines, these dance figurines, and the hip and the torso and the deflection, the Odyssey has a very, very soft feeling. It's a very liquid type movement compared to all of the other other dance styles, classical dance styles. That's where the word sensual comes from. It is the most um, curvaceous, um, fluid type liquid movement, um, which what we refer to as Laditya, it's soft, it's got the Tandava Lasya aspects, the hard dance and the soft dance, and it comes from the temples in Orissa, which is, they're all in these shapes, and it's like these figurines have come to life and they're moving. I trained here with my mother. My mother's my first teacher, my first guru. And then I went to India. She sent me to India to learn from her masters. I went to uh, Orissa. Uh, where I learned from, I call him my grandfather guru, because uh, he taught my mother when Ma was very small, in Orissa, when, when she was a kid. And uh, Ma told him, like, you know, she's learned this piece, or one of his pieces. I knew his whole repertoire by then. And uh, he goes, oh, let's see it. You know, so we were, we were downstairs in the basement, and I showed him my piece, and he pulls my mother aside, and he said, I want to take her with me. When Keruluchan Mahapatra says, you know, he wants to take your daughter and teach her dance, you know, you just, you don't say no, you just go. It's, it's really hard to teach a very ancient Eastern art form to a contemporary modern kid of today being raised as a Canadian. Lifestyle there is very different. You have to be very humble. You have to be very quiet. You can't, you don't look at your guru in the face. You don't, you don't say, yeah, what do you want? <laughs> Everybody here with their teachers, well, shut up, don't talk to me like that. If you touch me, I'm gonna sue. <laughs> but there, they can smack you silly. I had black and, black and blue shins for a while. My teacher would throw the stick. Like, Get it right. And you just have to sit there. <laughs> That's cultural shock for you. <laughs> That's also a mental shock. I'm like, I'm going back home to Canada. <laughs> but I, 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 I stuck it out, and I'm very happy I did. If I didn't have this art in my life, I would be uh, a, a regular Canadian. I wouldn't have anything of my roots, you know. But it, the, the thing is that I was born into a, a family of artists, and it's, it was very difficult to avoid becoming an artist. We're a very unique family. It's very, it's really different. Like, people will say, oh, I've never seen mother, son, and daughter on stage together, and you know, and never seen. And it's kind of neat to be, it's, it's really, really awesome to be a part of that. My mother's like my girlfriend, my sister, my guru, my mom, my best friend. My brother is my best friend, my son, my guru, my student, my brother, my advisor. I mean, there's uh, so many relationships. My dad's my pal. We're in, our, we're in our tenth year of doing our own shows. So that's kind of, it's, it's, it's a big, we've grown quite a bit that way. But that's what you have to do. And that's what I hope. We're one of the channels of carrying the art form through the generations of how the gurus want it, how tradition, what my mother's philosophy is, pass it down, keep passing it down. And that's the thing, preserve it.